Will I ever pick up another Philly trip? So I made it to my flight on time. Y'all get what I'm saying. Any day like this is a good day. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taryn, also known as Taryn on the Journey. If you're just tuning in and you're wondering why, why this girl in her car, like, why she starting a video off in her car? I'm a flight attendant and today I am on my way to the airport to start a four day trip. So that's what's going on right now. It is 6.12 in the morning. I am starting pretty early this morning because I picked up a Philadelphia four day trip. <laughs> Y'all. If you get a line as a flight attendant and you start to swap trips, make sure you know what you're doing because now that I have this trip on my schedule, I can't get rid of it because I um, picked it up on days that our grid in Philadelphia is red. So anytime the grid is red in Philadelphia, you are, I mean, anytime the grid is red, period, you are not allowed to change your days. They will deny it when you try to go and swap for something different. So I'm stuck with this trip now. I didn't think that through. For one, Stay I, in the left three lanes. For one, I can't see the, the grid for Philadelphia. So I don't even know why I did that. I can only see the Charlotte grid because that's my base. So if I want to see another grid, I have to try to like reach out to one of my co-workers somebody that i know that charlotte based so they can like tell me what the grid looks like and i did not do that before i picked up this trip so i i gotta do what i gotta do i drove from south carolina this morning because it was mother's day this weekend so i went to spend time with my mom and my grandma and my aunts all of all of the all of my family so this trip for me starts at 12 i think my report time for this trip is 12 51 and there's three flights that could get me by get me to philly by that time but i didn't want to be pushing it getting there so i'm taking the first flight out if you want to be covered by the commuter clause in our contract you have to take um the not you don't necessarily have to take the first flight but you have to have had two opportunities to cover yourself so say for instance if i was to miss this flight i would have to have taken the first flight and then have another flight available to me to be com considered covered by the commuter clause just in case like i if i weren't, wasn't able to get there if they got on maintenance or something like that i hope y'all get what i'm saying so there was three flights this one is at it leaves at 729 um and then there was one i think at like nine something and then there was another one but it was putting me right at the airport at 1250 and that's like really close to my report time. So I didn't want to put be pushing it get to the gate. So I was like, I'm just gonna get up early and drive to Charlotte. That way I can make the first flight for the day. So I'm pushing it pretty close with my time, but they don't start boarding until 6.59. So hopefully I can get through TSA pretty quickly and then I can make it to the flight. I plan to sleep this whole flight. I have no makeup on right now. I'll probably do my makeup once I get to the airport in Philly since I have a little bit of a sick but I, I needed to get up and be on my way this morning so I didn't do any of that I'm in Charlotte now I've made it to Charlotte at this point so I'm almost there I just got to be quick with getting my bags out of the car and getting inside the airport and I think I'm gonna be good I think I'm gonna make in two miles take exit 6 be toward North Carolina Highway 49 and Billy Graham Parkway okay girl but I think I'm gonna make this flight I think I'm gonna be good with my time um, if not I'll take the next flight I think I'm gonna be good we'll, we'll see I will check back with y'all and let y'all know what happens <laughs> So 
I made it to my flight on time. Good thing I didn't wait on the other two flights because I don't know Philadelphia Airport and it's huge and I would have never made it to my gate at my report time so I'm glad I didn't wait. I went to the crew room, I took a nap and now we're in Portland, Maine about to head back to Charlotte. I'm sorry, about to head back to Philly. I'm so used to flying to Charlotte but we're about to head back to Philly and then we go from Philly to Knoxville. So, so far a good day. I dropped the soda. It splashed all over me. But the passengers have been really cool. No turbulence, no weather. Really easy crowd. Nobody even hardly wanted drinks. I'm working the front today. So, it's a good day. Any day like this is a good day. in Knoxville let's check out the room make sure that it's clean we don't got nobody else in here but me and make sure it's the way that I want it to be before I get settled in just in case I need to get another room let's check it out so it looks good waterworks clean towels Y'all be surprised how many rooms I went into and the water didn't work or the shower wouldn't drain. I don't like that, so I always switch that. Nobody's in here. Just my jacket. Let's get some light over here. All right, we got the lights on. So I go ahead, if I can kick under the bed and there's no little barrier blocking, I'm getting down all my hands and knees to check under the bed because I don't trust Nobody under there. Listen, you can never be too careful. You can never be too careful. You gotta make sure. You just never know with these hotels, but everything looks good. We have a coffee pot in here. The cure, I hardly ever use those in a row. I don't, they don't seem clean to me. We do have a fridge, but no freezer. Of course, a fridge, but no freezer. And this is what the room looks like. TV, little desk area. And I have two beds today. And y'all already saw the bathroom and all of that. I never put my bags on the floor. I always keep my bags on one of these little things that they have in the rooms. Or I just sit up, up on top of the counters or the shelves because y'all just never know. It could always be little creepy crawlies in the room. So I make sure I keep my bags up off the ground. Do not put your bags on the floor. That's the absolute no no so for this trip i was like i told y'all earlier i was at home and i normally just go out and buy a whole bunch of groceries and then prepare what i want but but because i was at my mom's house i didn't do this do that this time instead i just made some turkey burgers um stole some buns from my mom and daddy i packed some deli meat some wraps and I have like the little tuna packets it's not the best but it'll get the job done so that's what I'm about to have my turkey burgers I'll show y'all what I have so these are my brioche buns ignore the gloves these are for if I'm working and they don't have any got some bananas I was supposed to eat those this morning but I didn't yogurt my ice packs that deli meat, I think I'm going to throw this away. I don't know if it's in any good or not. It doesn't taste that well. I may throw that away. And then I have my turkey burgers. Now my problem is that there's no microwave in here. So I'm going to have to go downstairs and find me a microwave because 
there's not one in here and it's nine something almost 10 o'clock and i need to hurry up and eat because i don't want to eat too late let's go downstairs and see if i can find a microwave to warm up my food so that i can eat before it gets too too late we found a microwave and it got two eggs Just got finished eating my dinner. And so now I'm gonna do a little story time, talk to y'all, really break down what happened during my day. So I told y'all earlier, I drove from South Carolina to Charlotte at the butt crack of dawn, like four something this morning. I made it to my flight. I'm so glad I did not wait on that flight. I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm so glad that I didn't wait on the next flight and I think that flight would have put me there at like nine something and then there was another one at like maybe 10 and then I would have got there at like 12.50. I'm so glad that I did not wait because I never really, I knew that Philadelphia's airport was big but I never really realized how big it was and at what parts of the airport they drop off American Airlines. The regional company and the mainline company is on two different sides of the airport. I would have been stressed out had I taken that later flight because there's no way I would have made it to my gate on time. And then getting there early allowed me to take a nap, do my makeup, brush my teeth. It allowed me to relax and regroup before it was time for my flight. So I'm so glad that I did that. That was the smartest thing I could have did. When I got to the Charlotte airport this morning, I was kind of hungry because I didn't really eat a lot last night. I paid $19 for breakfast. Y'all, please pack your lunch. Please, pla please pack your breakfast. Please pack something because the airport is crazy expensive. I didn't even realize that I was about to spend that much money on breakfast. I got orange juice, I had eggs, bacon, grits. And I asked for an extra piece of bacon, so I guess that's what made my price go to $19. I don't know. And I think the orange juice was $5 itself. Never again. They don't never gotta worry about Tarn buying nothing else from that restaurant. If you know the barbecue place in Charlotte, that's where I got the food from. That's too much money. Never again, not for breakfast, not in the airport, and not when the food was not even that good. So I'm mad at myself that I spent that $19, but it's whatever. Moving on, so I had to get myself to Philly, so that was one flight. And then from Philly, I went to Portland, Maine, Portland, Maine, back to Philly, and then from Philly to Knoxville, where I am now. During pre-departures, I asked, you know, would they like anything to drink right now? And everybody on the first Portland Maine flight told me no. I was like, oh, y'all gonna be easy, easy today. And they were. Really nobody wanted anything but water. So that was a good group of passengers. And on the way back, they were pretty easy laid back too. It was pretty early, so people were still sleeping. Sometimes that doesn't matter, but today, we had a good crowd coming into knoxville we ended up running into some really bad weather and it caused us to have to like circle in the air a few times before we could land because they were just trying to wait for things to clear up and the turbulence got pretty bad and rough on that flight um it ended up clearing up i say we maybe flew for an extra 10 minutes over the time that we were supposed to fly but it was that's 10 minutes is not bad that's actually pretty decent I'm just appreciative that we did not have to divert. If you don't know what a diversion is, a diversion is when you have to go into another airport because you can't land where you're originally supposed to land. And I don't even know what the closest airport would have been, but Knoxville, I know that the hotel here is good, so I'm glad that we got to come here. I told y'all I dropped the soda and it like burst on me today. So my dress is was all wet. I got my stockings wet. My shoes were sticky. Like the, the floor in the galley was sticky. It was just a big mess. Other than that, the flights were pretty uneventful. The flight attendant that I had today, she will not be coming with me tomorrow. So I'll be getting a new flight attendant in the morning when we go to Philly, I think. I believe my FO is staying on my trip for four days as well. 
but I think I'm losing my captain, so I'm not sure. I believe me and the FO, though, are staying for the whole four-day trip. So tomorrow we have a pretty late show time, so I don't have to rush to bed, but I am going to go ahead and get ready for bed, and I'm going to relax because it's been a long day. My day started pretty early this morning. Will I ever pick up another Philly trip? I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't like having to commute as far as I had to for Philly outside of my normal commute. Like, I really don't like this. So I probably will never do this again if I'm able to get a line next month. But it worked out. I was able to get the end of the month off leading up into my vacation and that was the whole point of me picking up this trip. But I'll never do this again if I can help it. I will never purposely pick up a Philly trip or a DC trip. It's just too much work. Like. It's too much to have to commute in unless it's so, you know, unless I'm already there, then that's the only way I would pick up a trip at another base. But other than that, I'm going to stay at Charlotte. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you also turn that notification bell on so you don't miss anything that I post. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.